Hi there gorgeous and a very happy frugal Friday to you. I have been absent as many of you have noticed. I want to say thank you to everyone who has expressed concern and who has sent their well wishes. We really appreciate it. Uh, I shared on Instagram the other day that we did lose my dad. I can't talk about it. But he passed um, last Wednesday and it was at 4.20 in the morning and I was there holding his hand as he took his last breath. You think that you're prepared for it because the doctors have told you to expect it and everyone around you has told you to expect it, but then when it happens, you're not prepared. It's still, it's still, it just, I have no words. Um, a lot of people have told me to take my time off of social media, take time to grieve. I've done that. And I can't continue to do that. Everyone grieves differently. This is where I feel comfortable. I miss a lot of you. I miss being able to share makeup with so many of you. And I need to jump back into what I was doing. This is the only way that I know how to cope right now. And so that is the way that I am planning on coping. And at the same time, it's what my dad would want me to do. He would not want me to be laying in bed all day crying or feeling sad. I remember him saying years ago, you need to be happy when I pass. You need to celebrate my life. I told you I can't talk about it. I, it's too painful. So today is more of just a relaxed, get ready with me, chit chat type thing. I'll catch you up on little things that have been happening in our lives. And if I'm able to share little memories with you of dad throughout the video, I will. Um, that has been helping me a lot is focusing on the good. So dad, I just want to say this video is for you. And even though you're not here in physical form, you're here with me always. I know that's what he would want. My dad really was such a huge fan of my videos. This is the first one I've made without him being here. The eyeshadow palette that I'm using today is the BYS Peach Palette. I talked about this one a little while ago and I'm using it because L'Oreal came out with this whole new line of Color Riche Shine lipsticks and I wanted something to go with this color. This color is so pretty. It's orange toned. It's called Luminous Coral. I'll swatch it here on the back of my hand so you can see the kind of color we're working with. So I wanted something that would go with that and I thought what better eyeshadow look to come up with than something peach themed. And I really like these new lipsticks from L'Oreal because they are so sheer. They give you that nice wash of color if you don't want something extremely pigmented on your lips. First shade I'm taking from this palette is Lavish, that one right there. And then after I use that one, I'm going to use Peach. And that Lavish color, I'm putting that right into the crease. And then I'm going to use the Peach shade to blend this out so you'll have more of a two-toned transition shade going on. I will share with you that dad was out of the hospital for about four days, a total of four days. He really, really hated being in that hospital. And I worked so hard to get him out of there. They kept trying to keep him on these IV antibiotics, which really weren't doing anything to help him. And we all knew that his time was coming near and what quality of life is it sitting there in a hospital hooked up to all these tubes and wires? He got so frustrated by that at the end. So he had four days all to himself in assisted living. And it was so adorable because he was signed up. I had him signed up to need assistance for showering and whatnot because um, we were afraid of falls and that type of thing. And... <laughs> So they only gave showers Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, I think. And the nurse came in on Thursday and offered him a shower. And he says, I don't need one. And she says, well, you didn't take a shower since Tuesday though. Are you sure you don't want a shower today? And he says, no, I took one yesterday. <laughs> she says, well, who helped you yesterday? <laughs> Is that me? I did it. I did it all by myself. He was so proud of himself. And I'm so happy 
that he got that. His independence was so important to him. And even little things like that, that you and I take for granted, taking a shower by yourself, made him so happy. So I was really, really happy that he got to do that as one last hurrah to his independence. And on the Frugal Friday, the last Frugal Friday, when I posted those two videos, March 16th, I took the day off completely from work that day. And I said to dad, we're gonna go out and we are going to have some fun. And we went out to uh, get his hair cut and get him shaved because he had two months worth of hospital hair on him. He felt so much better after that. We went to the car wash, we went grocery shopping and little things like that. He was so excited to get out. And he kept saying how happy he was just to be out. And I, I brought him home to our house later that evening, made him filet mignon, corn on the cob, he had strawberries, and the strawberries right now in Florida are amazing. And he had all kinds of little appetizers that I had laid out. Not a big appetite, of course. He's been like that for months now. But it was good to see that he was enjoying himself. And then I took him back to assisted living Friday evening. And Saturday is when they called me and they told me in the morning that he had gone unconscious and uh, we couldn't wake him up from them then on. And if he was awake, he would give me like little one word answers. Next shade I'm taking from this palette, by the way, is dazzling. But he always tried to tell me that he loved me. It was so cute because I made sure to tell him that every time I would leave him and he would always try even though he couldn't. And I would just tell him Dad, I know you love me. You don't have to say it. What was really touching to me too was the Thursday before he went unconscious, I took Jet over to see him for a little bit in the evening and he did not have much strength in the end at all. But somehow he leaned over at one point, he picked Jet up, put him in his lap and started talking to him. It was the sweetest thing you've ever seen. I'll never understand how he was able to pick up this 23 pound boy with as little strength as he did. God gave him the strength at that point, I'm sure. But it was really amazing. And one day I will tell Jet about that. And the last shade I'm going to take from this palette is Enticing, this deep brown at the end. Speaking of that little stinker, my son Jet. <laughs> I have been trying to get him to say mama for the longest time. We have been working on mama for, oh gosh, since he was eight months old and he first started babbling, maybe sooner than that. He's always said dada, and I know, I know dada is the easy one to say. I know that all kids say dada first for the most part. I get it, didn't make me feel any better. Well, wouldn't you know, that little stinker, it was last Monday, actually. I had him on the changing table and I had one hand on him. He was playing with this little stuffed dog that he has that he loves. And I was looking for a pair of pants in his dresser. And all of a sudden I hear him say, mama, mama, mama. And I look up and I say, you said mama. He goes, da 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 da. I was like, you said mama. I heard you say mama. And da 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 da. <laughs> that child is going to be such a little jokester. It cracked me up. <laughs> Since then, though, he has been saying mama more frequently. And he'll do it all through the house. He'll just go through the house and mama, 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 mama. <laughs> By the way, I wasn't talking when I did this, so I'll just let you know real quick here. I took this shade right here, Dainty, from the palette, and I layered it over the first shade I used on the inner half of the lid there because I wanted to lighten it a little bit more, and I like it a lot better with that shade. And I left my brown eyeliner in Dallas. Shoot. The week that my dad passed, my husband was actually on a business trip out in Dallas, and it was heartbreaking for him to even go because we knew 
that the odds are it would happen while he was out of town. Thank God I had a friend who came and stayed with me. Love you, Karen, if you're watching. And um, she was here when I got the call in the middle of the night, so I didn't have to worry about packing up Jet and taking him with me. Thank God for her. But after all this happened, my husband bought me a plane ticket pretty instantaneously because he didn't want me sitting here at the house by myself with Jet uh, going through everything. And so I went out to Dallas and stayed out there with friends of ours with him. And I have to tell you, if you lose someone close to you and you have the opportunity to go out of town, do it, do it. It was unbeknownst to me, such a help and getting out of the environment where everything had happened really did help me for those few days that I was out in Texas. But I left my makeup bag out there. Of all things, it's okay though. I had backups of everything I took, thankfully. I'm using the Wet n Wild Not A Basic Peach Palette. I'm taking the dark brown from this palette with an angled brush, and I'm using that to deepen the upper lash line a bit more. The lashes that I'm wearing today are a pair that I have become obsessed with. These are from the brand Coco Lashes, which I've talked about many times before, and they are in the style nine to five. I absolutely love these. Many of you know that I own my own lash brand, Inky Minky Lashes, but that does not stop me from wearing other people's lashes or appreciating other lashes because let's just face it, I'm a lash fanatic. I'm gonna let the glue get tacky on those lashes before I apply them. Real quick, I'm going to do the face, hopefully before that lash glue is ready to go. I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation. I did a review on this one last Frugal Friday, actually, that I posted, and I love this foundation. It was one that lasted on me a ridiculously long time. Didn't really expect it to, but I was really wowed by it. My lashes look like they're ready to go, so I'm gonna take a pause from doing my face and put those lashes on real quick. Still do this with my fingers. I have not mastered tweezers. I feel like I'm gonna poke myself in the eye when I use tweezers. Aren't those pretty? They look a little bit like the Coco Goddess lashes, but they're a little more wearable, whereas the goddess ones are really intense, sometimes too much for day wear. I mean, these are not, <laughs> these are good for me for day wear, but I mean, most people might be intimidated by these, but I love them. Now I realize that my lashes are not pressed into the lashes. I'm gonna let them dry for a little bit before I do that and continue applying the foundation to my face here. My only complaint with these cushion foundations is that I don't want the cushion. <laughs> I want to be able to access the foundation directly without having to press into that little sponge. Does anybody else feel the same way? I mean, they're great for travel and all that, but <sighs> give me the foundation. For my concealer today, I am going to use number seven's Radiant Glow, which is one of my favorite drugstore concealers. The bags are real. Oh, no sleep. I just can't sleep. I haven't been able to sleep lately. I think part of it is pregnancy. I'm getting to that stage where it's like getting uncomfortable. I am 23 weeks at this point. Pregnancy is going great. It's just hard to find a position that you're comfortable in, if that makes sense. And breathing is getting difficult. <laughs> it's like everything is going whoosh. So I'm not sleeping because of that, but also because of everything that's happened with my dad. It's just hard for me to sleep at night. Setting my face with a powder here. I'm using the Cody Airspun Translucent Powder. And now that I have the face done, I want to go back with another color from the BYS Peach Palette. I don't know which one. Um, maybe this one down here called Dashing and apply that on the lower lash line. Oh yes. That's pretty, it's a copper color, really intense too. Since we have this whole orange theme going on here, I am taking an old favorite. This is a NYX Baked Blush in the shade Wanderlust, isn't that pretty? It has a little bit of shimmer mixed in, so I may just need the blush. I thought about adding a highlighter, but 
maybe not. Such a beautiful color. It has like a pinky orange sheen to it. Can you see it? I think it's coming up on camera pretty well too. And for the lips, I'm going to add that coral color I talked about in the very beginning from L'Oreal. This is one of their new Color Riche Shine lipsticks, by the way. And the shade I'm using here is Luminous Coral. And I don't want a heavy application. I want it to be very light, so I am only applying one layer. It feels like lip balm on your lips. It does not feel like lipstick. It's not drying at all. I'm going to add in another lipstick with that. This is one of the L'Oreal Infallible Paints in the shade Skinny Dip. And I'm going to mix the two colors together. It's like a nude peach. Now I gotta go do my hair and perfect timing. I have a battery warning coming up. I hope that you enjoyed spending this time with me, having a little chit chat. I sure did miss all of you and it's good to be back. I wouldn't want it any other way and I'm looking forward to more videos. And hopefully we can have a whole month of drugstore videos. I know Money Saving March got interrupted, but we will make it up in the future. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all of your kind words, thoughts and prayers, lots of love, hugs and kisses to all of you. And thank you just so much for being you. I'll see you again soon.